What's up pet people? My name is Lexi and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we are going to be doing something I'm very excited about and that is the Josh's Frog... I don't want to show you my address. The Josh's Frogs unboxing! Yay! Um, I ordered this uh, in the last video. You saw me order it but that was actually on a Friday and today is a Wednesday so it definitely got here in the two day shipping because they processed it Monday um, and went ahead and sent it to me Monday and now it's Wednesday so yeah I'm really really happy um, I can't wait to show you guys everything I got and go through it all with you and just show you the great quality of Josh's frog so if you're interested in that please keep watching but honestly who's not interested in seeing a whole bunch of cool plants so keep watching As we're getting started, um, if you did watch my last video, you obviously know like what I ordered and um, what to expect, but I still want to open it for you guys and just show you the great quality of everything. Um, I'm super excited. I found out this came while I was at work today, and I've been thinking about it all day. Anyway, I'm going to cut open the box. Um, I'm not going to flip it up because it does have spring towers in it. And I don't want that coming open or anything like that. So I'm going to cut it open for you guys and then show you either a downward view or I'm going to um, pick it up and show you everything as I open it. So one thing about Josh's frogs is they use this tape that has like the crossing in it, strings. Um, they have their own tape with their like labels on it. And it is not coming loose, which is good because if you have plants and like live bugs or live animal, obviously you need that to not come loose. Okay, so. All right, great. Okay, so we have the packing slip. Okay. I got a springtail culture, my 8 ounce springtail culture, a 5 bundle uh, foliage plant bundle, a 12 by 12 by 18 tropical vivarium plant kit, my marble queen pothos, ABG mix, and a substrate barrier. And then one thing that I love that they do is they show you like the temperatures for um where you are here I don't know if you can see it yeah okay they show you like the temperatures for your location and they'll mail it either on a low temperature day um where your you know live goods will stay alive hopefully um if it's too high of a temperature they will not ship something so and then here is a little thing about my springtails they send little info cards with everything you get, um, and on the back it goes through it too. This just basically tells you, like, loosely replace the lid on your springtail colony for 24 hours if they're not moving and they don't look like they're living. Um, and then it tells you what it should look like and their actual size of the springtails. They're really, really, really tiny. I don't know how these beauty gurus do this, but anyway, that's, like, the actual size of springtails. Okay, so I'm going to begin opening this for you guys. I'm going to take a picture of it real quick. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to begin opening this for you guys. Um, first thing first, my springtail colony was upside down. They look healthy and alive. Oh yeah! Oh, this is great. You can see them moving. Okay. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to switch views now. Okay, everyone. So this is my box. Um, I'm going to switch back to just showing you the plants I'm at. But these springtails, I don't know if you can catch it. Yeah, you can see the little white dots moving around. Mm -hmm. That's a healthy springtail colony, y'all. They're going to go into the vivarium. Oh, this is going to be such a good starter. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we're going to go back to the airview now. Okay, so you kind of got a glimpse of everything in the box. I'm going to place my springtails over here on my stand where my camera is. Um, okay, beneficial insect guide. Again, they give little guides with everything. Um, here's some plants on what to do if your plants look a certain way. Here's some tips on what to do if your plants look a certain way. Like if it's wrinkled, um, it says place in a humid environment and water, give a few days to recover. Drooping leaves, plants can go through shock when transported. Leaves are brown or dry. 
give water, may be dehydrated, stem is broken, the plant will rejuvenate if only part of the stem is broken. Um, if the if the main stem is broken at soil level, the plant might not make it. And then of course it has like, what about each little plant, like foreground plants, background plants, stuff like that. And a cute little note from Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam at Josh's Frogs. Okay, so two Brahms. These are my bromeliads. Um, kind of hoping for a fireball. I killed my last fireball as it just started growing, so I'm really hoping for a fireball. Ooh, ooh, these are going to be so good to mount, especially this one. Oh, look at this mounting. Oh, this is going to be so beautiful to mount. And then this, this one. These look and this one looks a little dead, honestly. Um, well, no, it's supposed to have like the woody part, but I've never seen one this small with the woody part go up that high. So these I'll probably be mounting later on the wood that I want them to go in in the vivarium. Um, we have our ABG mix. As you can see, it has like the leaf layers, sphagnum moss, ABG. Like it, it has a lot of it has what the layers need to be on there. And it tells you everything in here. You can see it has a pretty good amount of sphagnum moss in it already, which will help with substrate. Um, I can feel the soil in there. I can feel the charcoal in there. Yeah, that's a good little chunk of charcoal down there. It's like pretty well layered, um, which is great. So that will have great filtration. And this is more than enough to do what I need it to do. i got to put that down. Super excited about that. And now to the plants. The entire rest of this box is just plants. Oh, plants. Um, I'm super happy. Okay, so what are you? This is a good foreground plant. One thing I like about Josh's Frogs is they'll put the name. Oh, I hate this camera. They'll put the name of the plant on the paper that it's wrapped in. And they'll put where it goes best. So this is a good foreground plant. I believe this is probably my... 12 by 12 by 18 kit because it did come with two background, two foreground, and two bromeliads. So that's probably what this kit is. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going to be a good little bottom foliage. Look how pretty. Okay. You, I know where I want you to go in the tank. Yeah, you're going to be like a little, you're going to be a cute little corner plant. And then we have a, I'm not even going to try to see these, I'm not going to lie, but here you go. And I'll, I'll uh, type the names up here for what they are. A Peperoma Capitara Green. These are great. These are not any of the plants I've gotten in previous bundles. Um, I did buy quite a few plants from them in bundles before that I have in my bathroom and wall hangers and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're cute. It's a cute little head soil fall all over my bed. I'm gonna wash my sheets, I guess, before bed. It's fine. It's time anyway. Okay, you are adorable. I like you. These are all, and if you notice, um, the, they are taped in, so they can't fall out. All of the plants from Josh's Frogs. Um, unless they're a open root, kind of like the bromeliad, they will not, they will tape it down to where it will not fall around on you. Okay, so we have a lace flower for this next one. It's actual name. I'm not even going to try and say again. They wrap them really well. And the paper towels on this are still quite moist. So, they're good, y'all. They're good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this has little fuzzy ones. So, this is... I'm probably going to put this next to the other pretty, pretty one. But, oh, this is really soft. I love this. I love this lace flower plant. I love them all. I love them all already. We're not even halfway through. This is, okay, new emerald green. I have a couple of these. Um, they're good background plants. I'm, I know this one's going to go on the wall background of um, the vivarium. I have, I had some in my other vivarium. Unfortunately, they did not do so hot. Um, and I know, I know now why. Um, has a lot to do with, I forgot to drill holes in the drainage. Yeah, so this is going to go like in the bottom back of the tank. Um, real cutesy. Gonna just put it in the bottom back. Probably, 
behind the wood with the bromeliads. So we have Siam Aurora. Aurora? Aurora. We're gonna maybe. Oh, the lighting is not good for reading. Okay, there you go. Siam Aurora. That sounds pretty. That sounds pretty. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, I thought I ripped it. Oh, yes. Okay, 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 okay. The reds on this. Um,. If, when it gets bigger, it gets really, really pretty red and the inner's a little bit green, but not this much green. But, oh, these get so pretty when bigger. I'm running out of room on my bed and I still have one, two, three, four, five plants left. Okay, so we have, uh, they, they fixed it. This is a silver one. Didn't I get one of these in green? Yeah, so the green one looks like this, the little one that I opened. This is the silver one of those so you know what i'm just i keep being scared i'm gonna rip the plant so we're just gonna cut the little tape parts because oh my god watch me cut a leaf and then just have a meltdown on camera okay so the silver one oh, okay 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 yeah yeah i like that oh the plants have such a nice texture like these leaves okay so we're gonna compare these really quick before my camera does. The green one obviously is a darker green, and this one when the light hits it literally looks silver. So there's those two. Tons of fun. Okay. I'm gonna show you the pothos. I know that pothos are fine. I've ordered so many pothos from them. Um, as far as like their shipping goes, these are great. I'm gonna immediately pop this one later. All of the other plants are going to go in a plant quarantine for a week, which is highly recommended. Um, so they're going to go in a plant quarantine. This one's just going to go straight in a pot since it's not going in a vivarium. Yeah, this one's spreading out a lot already. So this is going to go in a hanging wall pot with my other three. Um, hello, you're beautiful. Okay, I'm going to set you aside since I'm popping you. But, yeah, they do great. I love all of their pothos. And they send them at, um, in little 4-inch pots that do great. You can get them in bigger pots. Um, but, honestly, they grow really quickly, so I don't see a need to. Not going to try and say this. I'm just going to streptocarpus something. Streptocarpus something. Cool. What are you? This, I think, is one of my vining because it's longer. Are you one of my vining plants? I think you're one of them. Yes, ma'am, you are, I believe. I don't know. I might actually look this one up later because standing tall. You are large and in charge, sir. It's like the size of my head. You might go in a pot, not the vibrarium. We'll see about you. Last two, last two. Um, something petite. So that means something small. Does it stay small? Oh, you are cute too. They're all so cute. I know I've said that with like every plant I've opened and you guys are probably just like, oh my God, we're watching her say that's cute for however long this is. They're all so cute. Oh, and we have the substrate barrier. Um, this is, hold on. This is not the right size of substrate barrier that I need. I will cut it down to size, but this is what it's going to be like, and it keeps all the stuff where it needs to be and doesn't let any of the soil get down into your um, hydro balls. I use hydro balls, by the way. I know a lot of people use hydrotons. It's the same thing. Yeah, this is a cute little vining one. I'm going to put this in the little background wall as well. You're going to be cute. You're going to be cute. And then last we have White Rabbit's Foot Fern. Best location, foreground or background? I think I'm going to, I like ferns in the foreground because it like, you can build it up. Um, I've been watching a lot more, you know, bioactive videos and doing a lot more research because a lot of my plants died in the first one. I had to rebuild it. Oh, oh. Wow, it really does look like it has little, like, ra white rabbit's feet. Wow, that is so cool. 
I definitely love like how the leaves spread out that way. How do the beauty guru people do this? I'm just gonna try and like get some leaves, but you you see what I'm talking about there. Yeah, there we go. That's a pretty view. Wow, that is so neat. It really does look like little fuzzy feet. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, yeah, that is all my plants. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 plants. Um, oh, 13. 13 plants. Forgot about my pothos that I'm going to plant. So, yeah, this is wonderful. I'm super excited to put these in the vivarium for you guys. I already have the um, background and everything done. Hopefully, oh, 14. I just saw another plant behind. Where's the 14? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold up. 11, 12. Nope. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I guess it is 12. I just can't count today. Um, but I already have the background. I'm going to put these down. And I got my springtails. Got everything I need. So anyway, um, yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to put the... I already have the background in. I already have the background in and everything um, that's curing right now. I'm going to put the plants in quarantine because you need to do that before moving them into a vivarium that you are um, possibly putting other plants or a live creature into just because you, while I know these plants were like grown in their greenhouse and everything and that they are all safe and there were no pesticides and no bugs were brought in on them, I still would like to make sure of that and just make sure that all the plants are doing well and are healthy before I go and stick them in the vivarium. Anyway, um, pretty soon here in one of the next like three videos you should expect to see the vivarium video come out. I am super excited to show it to you guys. I have a great idea in my brain for this one. Hopefully it turns out how I want it to. I'm going to pack it full of plants and um, I, I bought some little ledges. I actually worked into the background and I'm just super excited to show this to you. I do not currently have any cork wood or cork bark in there but I'm going to go searching for that tomorrow on my day off and we're just going to see how this goes. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I love all of the plants. Once again, thank you so much to Josh's frogs. Um, these are wonderful. Everything's amazing. Got another little note I just noticed. Oh, Got two little notes. Thank you guys so much. I love all the plants. Everything looks beautiful. I'm so excited for all of this to go into the vivarium. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed filming it for you guys. Hope to see you next week for next week's video. And thank you for all the love and support. I love how our family keeps growing. I hope we continue to keep that up. And yeah, so thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.